So last night there have been many hints and rumors about the 2.8 updates and yeah in today's video I will explain all the new features and updates that are coming in 2.8 like the new skins of Diluc and Fischl, Heju's banner and some new events and reruns. We'll discuss all this in this video and now let's start. <laughs> Update number 1, Heiju's Banner So Shikon and Heiju, a new anime character is expected to arrive in version 2.8 following Mihoyo revealing the character on the official Genshin Impact Twitter page. What weapon he wields or whether he is a 4 star or 5 star character is still unknown. But it is likely that he will be a 5 star considering that Mihoyo usually releases at least one new 5 star character with each version update. So yeah, Heiju will be a 5 star character. If we talk about his design, so Heiju's design suggests he might be a sword user but designs have been misleading in the past as was the case with Raiden Shogun whose artwork shows her with the electro sword but it is actually a polearm character. Thus it is only a speculation on what Heiju's weapon will be until Mihoyo officially reveals it. And yeah Heiju is an anime character and a young detective working with the Tenryu Commission who are located in Inazuma and serve under Raiden Shogun. Kujusara who I think many players would know if you have completed the Inazuma arc is the current general of the group. Heiju was described by Mihoyo as a free spirited and unruly but cheerful and lively so it will be exciting to see which type of character Heiju will be point number two banner reruns so leaks on the Genshin Impact leak reddits are usually right when it comes to predicting so based on the direction of storyline and events that has been found by the members of Genshin community it is highly likely that in addition to introduction of the new character Heiju reruns of five star characters like Lee and Kazuha and Yoimiya will also occur at some point during the version 2.0 Date. And if this is true, Cleve will have her third rerun while Kazuha and Yoimiya will have their second. Because Kazuha and Yoimiya have only had their banners debut once for their initial releases. Players who missed out on them have highly requested their reruns for some time since. So comment down below on which character you will pull for. Well if you ask me, I will definitely pull for Kazuha cause that character is insane. And yeah Kazuha is amazing. But which character will you guys pull for? Comment down below. And yeah finally the last news, Diluc and Fischl skins. So skins for Genshin Impact characters are a relatively new concept for the game. As of June 2022, only 4 entirely brand new skins have been introduced into Genshin. 4 remodeled skins were also released for Jean, Mona, Rosaria and Amber. But these were very slightly altered versions of their existing skins that were introduced to give them less revealing outfits. These 4 skins were specially designed for China's regulations and as we know, it is now default for all players who play Genshin Impact in China. But version 2 2.8 is expected to bring two new skins in the game. These skins are expected to be for 5 star Pyroclaymore character Diluc and 4 star Electro Bow character Fischl. But I have a bad news for you all cause Diluc's skin will cost money just like Jean and Kaching's skin while Fischl's skin will be free for all players as was the case with Barbara and Ning Guang skins. But yeah in order to get the Fischl skin player will need to complete a series of tasks or quests but it will be entirely free upon doing so. Diluc's skin will like be called Red Dead of Night and I don't wanna read Fischl's skin name but you can see the name on the screen. And not just skins, Diluc's skin is rumored to be the first one alter gameplay. All other skins have simply changed characters design and outfits. But for the first time this skin may change the way Diluc's abilities appear. Leaks suggest that Diluc's skin will make his pyro abilities look much more darker and redder as you can see in the picture. And yeah rumors are that his skin will be a bartender theme skin. Considering Diluc runs Dawn Winery, this would make a lot of sense and fits his character quite well. And yeah, besides of skins, 2.8 will also bring back the Golden Apple Archipelago. Yeah, the same island that was released same time last year. So yeah, following the delay leading up to the release of version 2.7, Mihoyo revealed that the version 2.8 was expected to release on July 13. No further updates have been given yet, but I guess it can be released on July 13 with several hours of maintenance. I'll bring any new updates regarding this and now thanks for watching.